What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be installing our RAV4 Pro Grill on this 2020 uh, adventure model in Lunar Rock. Uh, to get started, we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood. Okay guys, um, now that we've got the hood popped, we're gonna jump right into it. You're gonna need a cat claw. Um, a tin mill uh, to pop out most of the stuff that's up here on top. We're going to be loosening the two headlight screws on both sides and then all these tabs up along the grill so that this stuff is all loosened up and then we'll go into the, the fender well so that we can do the screws and whatnot down there. So on the top here, we just removed screws. There's no need to remove any clips. Uh, you got the two on the headlights, the two on the upper grill piece, and then the ones that mount uh, just right above the radiator. Now we're gonna move into the wheel wells uh, to remove those screws. Okay, so down here below in the, each of uh, the wheel wells, you got a 10 millimeter here, clip right here, clip right here, 10 millimeter, and then up here there's another clip. Uh, why you wanna do this one up here, so that we can release this whole fender um, and allow it to come off a little bit further without putting too much pressure on the upper pieces here and breaking stuff. So we'll get these removed. Okay, once you get those 10 millimeter bolts removed, then you're gonna come in here with your cat claw. You're gonna be getting these clips off. Basically prop, pop that up, whole thing comes out. So when you push it back in, uh, they go back in. Once these are all removed, you're gonna get in here into the fender liner. You're gonna open this up in here. Okay. Okay, so once you get the fender liner uh, back a little ways, this fender is held on with some clips that basically pop in and then a knuckle kind of pops out. You're gonna to wanna to pressure those. You can do it with just your hand. First one's right down here. As you pressure those, you can just pull it away, just like so, to about right here. And then this is where your first clip is. And then one more, just like that. So these are the ones that you'll pinch and press out. So you get four of them, and you get the two clips at the top that it removes and releases this whole section of the bumper. Now let's go do the same thing to the other side. So starting from the bottom, 10 millimeter, you come up, and your second 10 mil. The longer one goes down below, the shorter one goes up top. Then we have our three clips down here. There's one, two, gonna want to pull back the liner it's kind of like a fabric but you get this all back get your hand up in here and then right down here you gotta get this back remove the fender just a little bit there and that way this part comes out just like that okay and get your hand up here the first one starts down low then you just kind of move your way up and the clips pop out pretty easy and then once you get up to this top one then it just kind of pops off. There's two clips. One, two, that's it. So underneath here, there are six screws uh, that will release the bottom side of the bumper. First one is over here by the fender. Okay guys, just an overview on what we went over and how to remove the bumper. You have the screws up top, you have the wheel wells, and then you have underneath. All of them are gonna be, uh, are gonna be screws except in the wheel well. There's three clips uh, in addition to the two screws. Once you get all that removed, uh, we're gonna start over on one side or the other. The reason we removed the ones from the headlight, it relieves pressure from down here so that we can pop the bumper off. So the last part to get this bumper off, 
is there's one more clip in here. So we gotta get in here, pop this last clip off. Once you get down here, you just give this some pressure and all these clips release. And then you get down on the headlight and that all comes off. Okay, it's, it's easiest to do this with two people. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side over here. So the last part, uh, just like I said, is this clip. Uh, once you get that fender, inner fender clip removed, you just kind of add a little bit of pressure. These clips are up into here. Uh, I go up in here like pressure ones. So they're like pinching the upper bumper part and you just kind of pull them away softly. Uh, you can also get like a little tool that like slides in between them to release the pressure so that they don't clip off. And then the bumper just kind of like falls off. I recommend having two people to remove the bumper, uh, but I've done a few of these so um, I can get up by myself. Once you get this thing off, we're gonna set it on the table and start working on our grill install. Okay, to remove the bumper, you're gonna to wanna to do one side then the other. Do the passenger side first because all the cabling goes to the driver's side. So you're gonna come over here, pry this one away, let it drop down, come over here. We're gonna to need to save this. So these are the two clips uh, that turn on the fog light sensor and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, we're gonna need to undo those two clips so that we can pull the bumper away. One. Two. Okay guys, now that we got the bumper um, off, what we're gonna do is be removing this grill section. Uh, this upper piece needs to be loosened and then we need to remove the sensors. Um, you're gonna need a, a Phillips screwdriver and then a cat claw. Uh, what we're gonna do is start over here. We're gonna remove this whole wiring system off of the grill so that we have access to the Phillips and then the other stuff up top that we can pull off. One. That. These are like little crimps that like pinch this part of the grill to stay on. Pinch those off, you can squeeze them back together. Those come off. Now that all this is off, we're just gonna finish removing all these. Makes the install a lot easier. Less things to have to work around. All these are compression clips. So there's two sides that you press down, pops them off. Okay, now we got that whole thing off. Now what we're gonna do is work on all of these Phillips right here. Get these all removed. Then right here, just to get out of the way so nothing happens, let's take off your TSS sensor. This is your cruise control module. And we can keep that there. See how this is all loose now? Now we're gonna do is come up here on the top and what makes the install easiest is actually removing the upper section so that we can have access to the full grill. So up here on the top, yeah, you remove this, you gotta take this clip off, but then underneath, there's just a few more pressure clips that you can just pop off. If you don't wanna do it that way, you can literally just pull it one way, pull it the other, pop it off and then clip it back on. Then all these gotta come out. And I guess these are things that you could have, could do at the beginning. Um, I do them later so that stuff isn't falling apart. Then you come over here, up this Phillips. Then you got this Phillips. Boom. So now that we got everything removed and you can actually like see that it comes apart. Now that we've got that whole thing removed, there's one, two clips underneath that you just pry down right here. And then the grub pops off just like that. So now you go over here, this clip as well needs to come off. This thing then pries off. Um, I always recommend having two people so that the thing doesn't fall over or you can just screw it to the table. Thought about doing that as well. 
Okay, now this is the piece that, that we're gonna be making some markings on so you guys know exactly how to cut this thing uh, to utilize this piece for the new grill that we're gonna be using. Okay guys, so this is the piece that we removed off the top. Out here I have the outline of how we're gonna cut this thing. This is actually gonna be mounted to the aftermarket pro grill that we'll be installing in this spot. So I have my pneumatic uh, saber here. We're gonna cut this out. Okay guys, so we used our little saber saw. We cut off the, the bracket. Now what I'm gonna do is clean up and take off this extra little piece up top so that it fits better with this bracket when mounted to the new grill. That job is done. This is ready to remount. Now, uh, this is the piece that's actually gonna be mounted onto our new Pro Grill. So, uh, let's get our Pro Grill out and let's uh, show you guys how to mount this thing to it. Here's our RAV4 Pro Grill. Uh, this fits the 18 or uh, 19 to 21 models, uh, adventure models, and TRD models um, with the same style. What we're gonna do uh, to get this thing all put together, simply we're gonna at our Pro Grill uh, Toyota insert, uh, Renee <laughs> opted for the color match of Lunar Rock. So we're gonna get that added. Good. Got that all mounted up. Looks good. Then on the back side here, uh, there's these four mounting spots. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the piece that we cut off, okay? These two higher positions are actually gonna sit um, uh, up top, and then the cut section sits down below. Okay guys, for the install of this, uh, we actually provide you guys uh, with a garnish that is actually supposed to clip right in there so that when you mount this thing, your $500 sensor that's then gonna mount back here, okay, has some sort of protection. That's what this is, okay? So to prep this, take off the covering. Like so. And the orientation depends on this, uh, this guy right here, so. That way there's that hole there. What you're gonna need is some quarter inch 3M adhesive, okay? And the only place this actually sticks on is down here at the bottom, away from the screw part, and then all the way up the side. Just like that, okay? Make sure they're pressed on there really well. And you'll wanna use like a good high quality vehicle 3M, like this stuff. You're gonna wanna make sure that this inner lip right here is clean. Take your garnish, make sure this is clean as well. You also wanna remove this blue one if you want. Now we're back with the orientation. Um, so where the two like Mickey Mouse ears, those orientate toward the bottom along with the cutoff line. And then you're gonna take four screws, use them to mount up the top. 
on the bottom. Now for the sensor right here uh, to kind of square it off, I've noticed that um, you can add like a quarter inch spacer. It just depends on your lift and whatnot uh, to kind of help with the angle of uh, the sensor being placed onto the road. Um, what I'd recommend is maybe adding a small spacer here. Uh, that way it orientates itself correctly. Uh, it really depends on your lift, the rake and angle of your vehicle. Uh, but on this one where it has uh, basically the adventure model lift, we're gonna add a small spacer behind the quarter inch one just to make sure that that sensor is shooting out correctly. Now that we've got this thing ready to go, here's your, I think on this one we're gonna use a half inch due to the lift. Place this guy in here, just like that. And just so you guys know, this is an inch and a quarter technically with the little rubber washer on this style. And this goes down in here. Now that that's harnessed, uh, we can put back on our sensor. Make sure orientation wise that the securing nut up top is up. It won't be used. And then you're going to be using your two 10 millimeter bolts from behind. And they also have Phillips with them as well. But once that's installed and secure, make sure everything fits well. And this is what the end product will look like. Now, let's move on to the sensors, uh, placing these guys in there. Okay guys, so here are the two sensors, left and right side, make sure you keep them that way. Um, to remove them, just like on the stock one, there's these two tabs that you just pull apart and the whole sensor comes out. So we'll replace these guys. Just like so. And then this one goes here. Uh, make sure that these clip in. Uh, sometimes they can be loose, especially if you do a lot of off-roading. You can even also add like a small little dabble or dot of glue. Just gonna add a little dot of stick fast on each one of these just to make sure that they don't ever come off. Cool. Now our grill is ready to go. Last section. Before we can put our grill in, you're gonna need some needle nose pliers. All these tabs we will compress so that we can push the grill out and then clip ours into the same position. I'd recommend starting on a single end instead of in the middle. So they actually have a part that shifts out. Make sure the stock grill doesn't clip back into place. I always prefer to put a rag. That's it. Cool. That fully removes this one. Now let's go grab ours and clip it right into a spot. Word to the wise, something I forgot to do, install your grill before you install this or it makes it kind of a tricky uh, placement. Uh, but once you get it in, you can grab some needle nose, pull the tabs through, Make sure that they click into place. Okay, cool. It's back into place. Um, the next step is we're gonna install this upper piece to now fit into the same position it was before.
cool. Um, uh, might take some additional trimming up in this area to make sure it's a really, really clean fit. I did trim off the rest of what was left on the top sections and you could, you could even trim off a little bit more on these uh, side knuckles. Mine just fit right behind, super snug fit. Um, now we're gonna, we're gonna do is uh, screw back in our two spots over here on the side and then uh, click everything back into place and make sure to add our screws up top. We'll start with the ones on the side here. Just use your stock hardware. Okay, then you're gonna use your supplied clips to bring this thing back together. Okay, and then for this guy, I'd remove this, this little plastic clip guy. Makes it easier to install it. Put him back in there. Now these little screw clips that I was having a hard time with earlier, I uh, finally got them apart. Put these guys back in their spot over here on the end. Just make sure you apply their little plug in the middle. Same on this side. This little guy is like the worst part of the whole install. Okay. Get that guy clipped in, pull this guy over the end, done. Same thing over here, clip in that plastic rubber clip, pull this guy over the end, done with that section. Now, uh, the last part on the back side is we're gonna get this thing all clipped back into position. Make sure to plug back in your sensors. Okay. Brown one. Move back up top. Last one here. So the reason we remove all these clips, I remember, is just so that we can remove, completely remove uh, this top section. Now that we got all these done, you can re-harness this guy if you ripped off your 3M tape. We're gonna clean this little section, stick him back on and then we're gonna reapply the whole entire bumper. Uh, just double check and make sure all your clips and everything are through and pressed or displaced so that it doesn't fall out. And uh, we're gonna position this back on the front of the car and get it all clipped up. Solid. Cool. To finish this guy up for the grill, we're gonna get in position. You're gonna to wanna to go low. Make sure that's clicked on. Okay. And kind of just position this guy up here like so. What we wanna do is just get this guy up on here. One side. Second side. And if you're nervous about scratching your headlights, you can tape them off. If you aren't careful, you can scratch your headlights pretty bad. Grills on, I'm gonna go behind over here and plug these two clips in. Okay guys, so uh, get behind your fender liner here. We're gonna reattach our TSS sensor and all the fog lights and whatnot. One and two. Yeah, as long as you can hear the two clips go, uh, you'll be good to go. Uh, so now that the clips are in, we're gonna reposition this fender and get it all screwed back together. Those all just kinda clip back in. I'm gonna push this fender liner back behind the fender casing. Get all that. Um, don't screw anything thing in quite yet. Uh, we wanna make sure all these clips are pressed in all the way and then we're gonna go to the other side, do the same thing before we start putting it all back together. On this side, there's nothing on the inside, so we just wanna make sure uh, there are two clips up top are in and all these get pressed. Then we're gonna make sure our fender liner is back behind and the two tabs 
and everything got to lined up. Um, okay, uh, now that we're all put together, we're gonna start up at the top, put all of our screws back in, go to the fenders, and then finish up along the bottom, and this install will be complete. Okay guys, for the fine uh, threaded screws with the washer top, these go back up top. You can kind of position your, position it in properly. And then two more go down right above your radiator mount. Then your coarse threaded screws are gonna go back onto your headlights. Cool, that finishes up the top section. Now let's go over to the fenders. Uh, down low, we're gonna have our three clips and then our two screws. The longer screw goes down below. I'm gonna first do these clips that are kind of like around the corner, hidden a little bit. A little more tricky to get in. And the last one is up here. Okay, done. Tighten these guys up. Here. Not too tight, just snug. Uh, plastic will strip out pretty easily. Cool. Let's go on to the other side. Okay, guys, once again, three clips, two screws. Each one of these screws behind it has a white, um, I guess, pressure clip type thing that the screw goes up into. So just make sure that you're hitting those. Perfect. That finishes it up. Okay guys, I just want to show that the sensor, the cruise control sensor is working. Right now we're set at 22 miles per hour. Um, none of the sensors are going off. Solid install. Um, it might seem a bit complicated at first, but if you just go step by step, um, most people can be able to do this on their own. Okay guys, that wraps up our RAV4 Pro Gorilla install. Pro tip, during installation you can paint this uh, section back here that you can still see the color of the vehicle black so that when you do install the grill it kind of masks and gives it that full blackout look but other than that we got the sensor installed she got a lunar rock uh, pro grill insert and uh, tomorrow we're going to be installing some sequential turn signals on the side view mirrors other than that uh, all the stuff that we use will be in the the links and caption below thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe Thank you.